we have the 24-hour rule, win or lose. You, you study the last game and, and review it and try to correct what you need to correct and move on. And that certainly was the case last night. It wasn't a lot of fun for anybody to watch the film, but we watched it, identified our mistakes, uh, had a good walkthrough last night, and then ready to move on to Colorado. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of things we could get better at, and that's pretty obvious to anybody that watched the game. Um, but I think our guys are very conscientious, and we'll have a good week of practice. There's so many things we could do better. There's there's always calls we'd like to have back as coaches. There's uh, balls that we dropped that our guys hadn't dropped all year. There's uh, we we missed a couple protections that we hadn't missed all year. They got pressure with four man rush, which hadn't happened a lot all year, and so it just wasn't. And I think we pressed a little bit. You know, overall, as offensively, when things weren't going well, we. You know, instead of just letting the game come to us, I think we press a little bit. And sometimes when you're uh, a real strong competitor like our guys are, that happens. And, and it was a lesson learned. We just, you know, when you're playing an athletic team, a very good team like that on the road, you know, you just got to not panic and not worry about things and just try to execute and eventually it'll fall into place. No, and we've been in other close games and this was a close game and we still had our opportunities at the end and, and we messed up in the kicking game there. Um, and I didn't sense on the sidelines that our guys wasn't a lot of talk of like they're doing this and or they're confused. You know, they felt comfortable with what they were doing. They didn't really didn't change what they were doing the whole game. It just was a matter of of uh, them making some plays. You got to give them some credit too, and and us not making them. Uh, you hope that it's uh, that you don't run into a game where you you know you fail to get some positive yards on first and second down. That was a big key for us. We didn't our third our third downs were poor, but a lot of them were third down and longs and. And we didn't. It's hard to hard for anybody to, to execute a lot of third and longs, third and ten, third and twelves. And so we're we're first and second down, particularly in the run game, wasn't what it needed to be to win. You know, compared to other teams, we're probably pretty similar. The concern is that we were thin coming into the season, and we were hoping to be healthy going into the last six weeks, and we're not as healthy physically as I'd like to be. But I'm sure every coach would tell you that. Um, We've backed off in practice a couple of weeks ago. We only go in pads on one day a week because it's Tuesday and Wednesday's a half pad. So it's not like we're going to beat them up during the week. And, but we're playing a lot of plays. I think everybody in college football is playing a lot of plays. And, and eventually we'll get to the point where we're, we should be closer to too deep and rotating a lot of guys in. Um, but we haven't been there the last couple of years in the program. We're not there right now. And our goal is to develop that kind of depth in the next couple of years.